In this video, I am going to be showing you how you can automatically change your primary target for the Diamond Casino Heist. Now with the Diamond Casino Heist, the best target overall is Diamonds, which can only be stolen on special event weeks, so besides Diamonds, the next best target is Gold, followed by Artwork, and then Cash. If you want to learn how to do this glitch then make sure to stick about until the end of the video to find out exactly how you can do this glitch. Before we move on to the glitch however, if you do go on to finding this video useful then please do make sure that you leave a like on today's video and if you could subscribe it would be greatly appreciated. Now let's move on to the glitch in today's video. Now to start off with this glitch what you will first need to do is make sure that you have got the Diamond Casino High Setup fee paid for which costs $25,000, so that you can have access to the vault content setup. Once you have made sure you can do the vault content setup, then start the mission to have a look at what your target is inside the vault at the Diamond Casino. Once you are inside of the casino, what you will need to do is find the spot where the signal is the strongest so you can have access to the cameras, and then once you have done this then go to the vault camera. After you have discovered your target and what you are stealing, back out of the cameras. If you got a target that you do not want, for example cash, then what you will need to do is call Lester on your phone whilst you are still inside of the casino and then cancel the heist. If you go outside of the casino and then call Lester to cancel the heist, the glitch will not work, so it is important that you stay inside the casino whilst you call Lester to cancel your heist. After you have called Lester and cancelled the heist inside of the casino, leave the casino and make your way back to your arcade. Just to note, it will still say that you are in the vault content setup after you have cancelled the heist because you will still have instructions on what to do on your screen. But that doesn't matter, just follow what the instructions say and make your way back to your arcade. Once back in your arcade, you can purchase the heist again, however this time there will be a target on your heist board. If it is still a target that you do not want to steal, so say you got artwork this time round but you wanted gold, then what you can do is quickly close your application down aft. After you have repurchased the heist, and then reopen it, you can keep repeating that step until you have got the target that you want to steal with the heist. Now just a few additional notes that I need to tell you with this. Firstly, doing this glitch will not have an impact on your account. You cannot get banned for doing it, as I have been doing this glitch for years and nothing has happened to my account. Secondly, you can do this glitch on every casino heist that you do. So do not worry, you can always change your target if you do not like the one you're given. Thirdly, you will need to complete all three diamond casino heist approaches as a host to be able to cancel the heist. So if you haven't completed the big con, silent and sneaky and aggressive as the host of the heist then you will need to do that. And for the final side note that I will give you, for every time you close your app down and reopen your game to purchase the heist, you will only be charged for the purchase of the heist once, which is when you get the target that you want. So do not panic about spending millions on changing your heist, as you will only be charged $50,000 in total for the target change, first for the initial fee, and then for the target that you want. I post videos similar to this one all the time, so if you want to see more content just like this then do make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel so I know you enjoy these types of videos. That is all from me today, so I shall see you in the next one.